Thank you, sir. So, this is a hell of a way to start the day. In order to do our job today, we need our excavator. And to move the excavator, we need our semi. Came over to start the semi, starter's toast for some reason. Not sure what's going on with it. It's sat since we got back from Cerro Gordo, so maybe it's just on strike because we worked it too hard. So basically, a couple options. We can replace the starter. That's gonna take a better part of the day to be able to get one here, get it done. Or we can bump and start the semi. And there's two ways to do that. Since semi trucks have air brakes, you can't just pull them unless you release the brakes. But you can't release the brakes until you get air power, and you can't get air power until you start the engine. So the option number one would be to go through and cage all the brakes. You put a bolt basically in the brake canister. Caging brakes sucks. I don't want anything to do with that. Option number two, pull another truck with air up to it, hook the hose from one to the other, fill up the tanks on our truck, get enough air pressure to fill up the suspension, release the brakes, and then we're gonna bump start it. Hopefully. This is gonna be a big, big bump start. It'll work. I hope it works. If not, there's always plan B, I guess. Yeah, we'll don't know that, that I don't know yet. I haven't got that far. We have to make it work. We got for this trailer. Wanna say we're shifting the four-wheel drive low with the POTUS? You, want, you think I should shift the four wheel low? I would say so. You want all that? I was going to go too high, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're low. How'd that go? Hey man, check that off the bucket list. Bump started to send my truck pulling a trailer while I'm pulling a trailer. That feels pretty good. 550 loved every second of that. <laughs> Still smiling. You're ready for this. I gotta, I gotta get out. I gotta talk. <laughs> you guys know that a couple months ago, I wanted to kind of like bring our YouTube audience closer to our truck giveaways because obviously we've been giving away trucks for years, um, but I wanted to take care of you guys on YouTube. Guess what? The first month we did it, one of you YouTube viewers won Odin the white F450. Mm -hmm. No, that's maybe just like a that's maybe just like a coincidence. Mm -hmm. So we did it again last month. Yeah. You guys broke the site in like. 30 minutes, like we were completely out of stuff to sell. Yeah. Cody from Cheyenne, Wyoming <laughs> won our giveaway truck last month because he joined the subscription club. So guys, here's the deal. The subscription box that we've created basically solved one of mine and our customers' biggest frustrations. And that's when you don't win a truck, you lose all your entries. And we're like, no, 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 we don't like that idea. What we want to do, if you buy a subscription box this month and you've got your entries, what is it, like 50 entries or something yeah. like that, but then you don't win the truck at the end of the month, I don't want you to have to start over with zero entries next month. What I want you to do is be able to keep some of your previous month's entries. So what happens? If you're on subscription box uh, for one month, bam, 50 entries. Let's say you don't win the truck. That's all right, next month if you're still on, bam, we're gonna give you 75 entries instead of the original 50. So it's compounding by 25 every single month. Yep. So if you stay on for three months, guess what? You got 100 entries just for one, for one month purchase. Guys, this is a big freaking deal, and this Huge. goes all the way up to 300 entries. So your odds just keep getting better and better and better. better. So it's like, you know rollover minutes back in the day when you have like oh, 100 yeah. minutes on your phone, and you're like, oh, I only use 77 of them, and, and AT&T was like, well, guess what? Bam, here's 23 more. So next month, you got 123. We're kind of doing that. It's not exactly a rollover program, but it's Similar. just as good. 
guys, this is a big deal. I need you to keep one of these trucks because honestly, I'm loving rubbing it in everybody's faces right now. <laughs> so do me a favor, heavy 20 at checkout at decepacker.com, make it happen and enjoy yourself a brand new Denali. I've heard rumor that there's a big tree here on Hans's property that has a potential of falling and causing a lot of damage. So, what we would like to try and do is preserve the tree, take it from its original habitat here and put it in a new nice home where it can grow and thrive and be the tree it's supposed to be, yet at the same time not endangering the neighbors. Pluck the tree out, plant it somewhere else. That's the uh, simple version. Wish us luck. And now your truck just always looks better every time I see it, man. We'll see you, buddy. This is the pine tree, hands. I think it's actually a bush looking at it. Yeah, it looks like it's a good size down in the base, and then it kind of branches out and does something weird. Somebody beat it hard. It's cool that it branches out so low. Yeah. Hey, Dave thinks he can transplant it. I don't. Did you show Dave a picture of this tree? I've sent Dave 48 pictures of this tree. I would build a house around this tree. I would have a table that comes around through each branch so that kind of grows through your kitchen assembly and you have a, a tree trunk as the main feature of your house and then it branches out into the rest. I would take and just cut it right in half, lay the top half right here on the yard, saw it up into little pieces and haul it away. We made it. Man, that was, that was a process. It's normally not that complicated, but we're here and uh, we're getting unloaded. Guys, welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're doing some tree trimming. We are at uh, Old Pigeon Toe or Kid Dynamite. I don't think we have a nickname for you yet, right? Is it Pigeon Toe? It's uh, Kid Dynamite. Kid Dynamite, yes. Kid, we're at Kid Dynamite's rental property in Ogden, Utah, which by the way, Utah's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Kid Dynamite is a Kid Dynamite's rental property in Ogden, Utah, which by the way, Utah people, Ogden does not get enough like love. Everybody dogs on Ogden. I love Ogden. Like, Ogden, I just feel at home. A lot of my family's from Ogden. I just, I just love it here. So, anyways, Hans has this rental property here, and um, he has this massive tree in the front yard, which is starting to cause problems of trees. And I hate, hate, hate to see big old growth trees just get cut down and chipped up. So that was the original plan. We thought about maybe moving the whole thing, but then we started looking at it, and it looks like the tree is already dying in some areas. By the time we tried to transplant it, with all the hot weather and shortage of water and everything that's going on right now. I don't know if it's able to be transplanted. So we're gonna cut it. We're gonna obviously trim the whole top off and get rid of all that. But we're gonna save, we're basically gonna save from right there to like right there. And we're gonna use that section as a treehouse base. So we got Anton from uh, BC Timbers here. You guys know him. He did all the timber work on my house. He's like my go-to uh, timber guy. So basically we're gonna do what we can to save from there to about there. And then all these branches and stuff that are coming off will be used to support the tree house. With it being my tree and my property, the best thing I want to, you know, the thing I want to see done with it is it torn hey, down as safely as possible. I'm watching him drop bombs from like 70 feet up. Just big old, right here, bombs. Just dropping bombs from 70 feet up, not worrying about my roof. Hey. Really freaking me out. Can I have some of your wheel trucks? Uh, yeah, for a price. Oh, man. I would sell all this wood to Diesel Day as for wheel trucks. That's Dang. what I do. How much? How much for a wheel truck? A wheel truck? Yeah. You gonna cut it to the angles you need? I was hoping you would do that for me since I'm buying a wheel truck from you. <laughs> yeah, 20 bucks. Hey, done. Custom wheel trucks by hand, only 20 bucks. You might want to sign up. Swipe up. 
And then when I got down to the bottom, I'd make a canoe for me and this me? Babe. Yeah! Yeah. I love hands. Canoes? Hey, now the Christmas lights. Oh, oh yeah, Dynamite Kid would come up with an idea like a canoe. That's what I'm happy about. And needs a nickname. You guys chose Pigeon, but we also have Dynamite Kid. No, Kid Dynamite, excuse me. So right now I want you to vote. Pigeon, Kid Dynamite. Is there any others? Put it in there. Is there any others? No, those are the two I want to stick with. Pigeon or Kid Dynamite. Explain why I'm Kid Dynamite. Because you're explosive, you're Kid Dynamite, you're I got a fireworks, uh, here I am. Like a stick of dynamite. Or do you want to be? Oh, but yet feisty. Uh, what is that, a pigeon? Yeah, a pigeon. <laughs> the old chainsaw started and I've been able to make about one cut so far. <laughs> you made a cut and then yeah, you threw it in there? Made one cut. Then you shut it off. So the tree's coming down way faster than we expected it to. Nice thing is all these branches are like flat. Again, I don't know exactly what type of species of tree this is, but it's taking up way less space because the branches are flat. So we don't even need to rent a chipper. We're gonna go grab a chipper but I think it's all gonna fit like this. like that. Hey, see these weird ass pine cones? Is that a premature pine cone? That's a way. What? That's a softball. Just like Kansas rape whistle. Why am I the, always the one blowing the rape whistle? <laughs> I think we better call it a predator whistle though, because rape's not rape's not a laughing matter. Like rape jokes. <laughs> That'll bring me a new nickname. Predator. Hey, no rape jokes in Ogden. <laughs> no rape jokes in Ogden. But Hans' nickname, new nickname is Predator Whistle. <laughs> OPW? OPW. Predator whistle. I like it. What whistle? Predator whistle. Predator call. <laughs> Coyote call. Is this your first day on the job then? Uh, Second. we've done a few of these, but every time we've done one, it's turned out pretty bad. So really? this is actually, no, dude, I'm just being sarcastic. <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing but skill, dude. That was all skill. You know how many of these bad chickens I, I brought me, down, actually. dude, over the years? I come from a long family of timber fellers, all right? Yeah. Yeah, I know the word. So you let the pine or the spruce or whatever sap seep into your veins yeah. and then you just go crazy on it, dude. It's the driver. <laughs> that thing's, you know, it's you know that thing's something I won't even get in it. <laughs> that thing's almost killed you more times than it saved your life. I promise you that. Yeah. I've seen that thing almost buck you straight you down my street. Get down the, road? Yeah. <laughs> the theme of... I hate sap. The theme of this vlog, and probably the next one, is basically gonna be doing chores. This is the stuff that we gotta do to get our own like things in order before we can leave town for the 4th of July. So you're gonna see us 
doing this, which we're gonna turn into an awesome tree house. Uh, then next video, we gotta go up and check on the cows. We got a bunch of cows up in the mountains here and uh, I just got word that they're not getting any water. Basically the water got diverted by a beaver dam, so we gotta take the sandy up to the mountain. We gotta round up a bunch of loose cows. It's gonna be wild, so. I like to take the vlogs and kind of clump them into series. Like Cerro Gordo was a four part series or five part, uh, four or five, I can't remember. Um, we did a bunch of recoveries in a row. And so now, how many, how many was Cerro Gordo? It's gonna bug me. Four? Four part series. So now, you're gonna see a two, maybe three part series of us doing actual work that we have to do, like chores. So, uh, but we're gonna make it entertaining. We're gonna show you the process along the way. broken utility lines, no broken concrete, no broken trucks, no broken equipment, no broken skulls. That went really well. And now we have that beautiful tree trunk to take down to my house and bury as the foundation for my kid's uh, tree house. So I'm pretty stoked on that. In fact, I think, uh, wasn't really planning on doing that in this video, but I think we're gonna go ahead and head down there and uh, get that thing buried and in place so that Anton can start working on uh, building the house. See what happened to my pile of Christmas ornaments? You know, it's it a whole um, pile full of it. Oh, I think, I think they... What the... What? Love my, love my Christmas ornaments, guys. You think we can get the Kenworth started again? Oh. Sorry about that. At least I parked on the downhill. That's, that's, that's... As long as we got enough air to release the brakes, we'll be good. Otherwise, we're going to be getting an air compressor. I want to see if you get this Kenworth started. Yeah, now uh, now the real test. I mean, yes, I forgot, but at the same time, I was planning on shutting it off anyways. I don't want to leave it running all day because I was planning on just bump starting it. Luckily, I remembered to park on a hill. Actually, I didn't remember. That just happened to happen. So truth of the matter is I completely forgot that the starter was not working, but I got pretty good luck and I happened to be parked on a hill. What I'm really hoping right now, though, is that the air brakes have basically still enough pressure in the tanks to release and then hopefully this hill is enough this hill should be good well, what you're gonna jump it in uh, I jumped it in fourth back at the shop so probably try fourth again well, may the fourth be with you <laughs> nice nice there we go or maybe it'll just start <laughs> how about that what do you say baby what do you say Starter's super finicky on this thing, but once you get it started, it's good. So, I mean, I don't have to bump start it, but I do need to put a starter in soon because I don't think it's gonna give me very many more of those.
So this is my backyard. Um, as you can see, the front yard has been landscaped. The backyard, um, only a small portion has. Uh, the bigger project is this area that you're looking at. Basically from the rock wall down there all the way to the top is, I mean, it's a, it's a big project. And I wanna build a pool. And I don't wanna build a pool in this market right now. I'm gonna let things calm down a little bit just cause I know I'll get, I'll get too frustrated. So basically this uh, tree house is gonna be the first major landscaping item here in the backyard. And I think it's gonna go right here. This is gonna be the kids playground. This is like a little second little level um, above where the pool's gonna go. And it's a perfect little spot, kind of fills the rock wall in a little bit um, and tons of room for the kids to play. So that's where it's gonna go. And we're gonna get the uh, tree in there and then figure out how far we wanna take this thing. But Anton, I mean, the tree house is gonna be done this year no matter what, um, because we don't have to have all the landscaping done to do that. But uh, this backyard is gonna be pretty wild. I, uh, I want to bring you guys along for the journey. Um, we're probably gonna build like a lazy river, um, water slides, a little cliff jumping area. So that's why I'm saying the pool is like a, it's a very intense project that takes the right contractors and the right guys. And I'm not gonna rush into it. Uh, the pool will have a ton of timber work from Anton. The whole backyard is gonna have timbers and rocks and all kinds of stuff that uh, Anton does best. So what do you think about right there, buddy? I think that's where she wanted the playhouse. Right there. Yep. Could have a bridge off the rocks into That's what it. I was thinking. I wanted to do like a little rope drawbridge up to the rocks once we get it going. Could have a zip line down into there somewhere. So the pool would be cool because the pool's going to be right there. Is that where it's sitting? Yeah, the pool's going to sit kind of where that whole area over there. Dang, dude, so if we put it awesome. right here, because this part of the rock wall is pretty much done. That's awesome. You see this? This is way cooler than I even envisioned it to be. It's big, dude. It's big. We're obviously we're gonna end up cutting like up to maybe two feet off the top to be able to make everything level, but I love how we've got those upright branches and supports, and we'll have to that'll just allow us to run less, you know, main legs down. So you think? It'd be awesome, dude. Some sort of something, <laughs> right? I'll, I'll let him answer your question. I'll ask the question to let him answer it. Okay, great. You know where we got the tree? So uh, I didn't tell Ashley this was happening. Um, that's the thing about Ash. She she's very fun to surprise. She never gets upset. Like I, she would never come back here and be like, "Oh, I wanted the green tree or a blue tree." Just whatever we're doing, she loves. So. That was, uh, I was excited to see that reaction. And the kids obviously are pretty excited too. It's funny because anytime I do something for the kids, it seems like Ashley is more excited than the kids do. Why am I more excited than the children? <laughs> it is, I like it. Or at least she shows it better. But the kids are gonna love this thing. This is, this is perfect. Now, this is gonna trigger me to wanna finish the backyard. Like I said, I've been avoiding doing that because I just think it's stupid to pay the current construction rates. 
but we're gonna do something. I might, I was actually thinking about possibly doing like a temporary pool back here just for the rest of the summer and then starting the real pool either this fall or early spring when things slow down a little bit. So maybe grab some of that cool AstroTurf from like the football fields, roll it out here, do like an above ground pool. I've been working my whole life. You see, I grew up dirt poor. Like a pool was never even in like, never a possibility for my family. So as I was growing up, I thought one day I'm gonna have a pool and it's gonna be the coolest pool around. So it's gonna have a lazy river and it's gonna be awesome. So that's, that's, that's why I work so hard. It's literally why I work so hard. So my name is Anton Burbage and we are timber framers. And I'm Bailey Burbage, I'm his daughter. I just do whatever he says. So the company that we that we uh, run and, and own is a timber framing business. Timber framing is the art of putting big timber beams together with square holes and pegs. So we have done a ton of stuff for Dave Sparks. His house, his gate, inside his house, stuff at the shop. We're always doing fun stuff. So we got this last year. It's a 2020 F450 Ford. And um, the whole idea, the name on the truck is the Timber Slayer. And the whole <laughs> idea is to look like uh, we know what we're doing when we're going down the road. So we had to put the, pat the patri uh, patriotic flag incorporated in the logo. So if you see the wood grain, on the flag um obviously the stars and and stripes and then our logo in the back makes the oh, truck yeah. come on so we like most about this truck <laughs> the wheels look at those the things. lug nuts Just dude kidding, look no. at those lug look nuts look at the flag that's what we like most about this no truck. we like the flag we like that and it's a ford oh. ford is making one of the top trucks Ooh. right now yeah, Everything. every every piece of machinery we have everywhere. we've got a flag on the logo right dude yeah everywhere <laughs> and why is that because we're freaking patriotic America. Yeah. Uh, America, right? <laughs> yeah. Dave, it's going to start. Oh, otherwise we're going to be doing a, a, oh, this would be a terrible spot for a bump start. A reverse bump start. Not really ideal. Come on, baby. Yeah, baby. I'll count that the last Yeah, that, that probably is the last start she's going to give us. There you have it guys, we are set, ready for Anton to start uh, coming up with his crazy treehouse ideas. Basically, uh, what we got done today was obviously cut down the tree at Hans place, got it set up here where we need it, and then uh, I'm gonna bring some concrete up next week and pour the pad so that it's got a nice foundation, and then from there, he's gonna draw up some plans. And the thing about this treehouse is, it's gonna be probably a multi-stage deal where we start with one, and then once we start finishing the rest of the backyard, then we'll need a zip line going to another one, yep. yeah. and then a zip line to another one. So uh, you're working on one right now that has like four different houses, right? Yeah, we're working one in uh, Salt Lake, dude. It's got like four different huts, so yeah. it's gonna be sick. Anton's gonna be covering this build on his YouTube channel, and he's gonna show like the nitty gritty, like how they actually do this stuff, like the actual timber work that goes into this, whereas I'm gonna show you the overall process. So go subscribe to his channel. Link is in the description below. Head over there, give him a subscribe, a, a subscription? Give him a subscription or subscribe. subscribe. Description. Give, give a follow, subscription. Give them a follow, sub, a like, a follow, a like, a comment, whatever it is. Give them whatever gift you want to give them. Yeah, go yeah. give them. A, give them a yeah. gift if you have a gift to give Send them. Send me some gifts. <laughs> His peel box. Wait a minute, dude. Wait a minute. That's a popular thing. You know that, right? Like influencers oh, set up peel boxes and then they give them to people and then people send stuff to them and then they open them. Kind of crazy. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Um, I do want you to uh, drop in the comments below what you would have done with that tree. Now that you saw it up at Hans' place and the way it was it was kind of a menace to the house there, would you have just cut it down and chipped it up, throw it away? Would you do what we did, use the base for a cool tree house? Would you try to transplant the whole tree? Let me know. Also, if you know what kind of tree that is just based off the video, drop it in the comments below. I thought yeah. we figured out it was a Spruce Willis. A sp <laughs> they die hard. They die hard, man. Yeah, we've been making some real inside jokes today. You guys is that a dad joke? That's outside now. Oh, that's like a, that's like a triple dad joke. Yeah, that's dude. like a deep dad joke. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed, and uh, next episode, or over the next couple episodes, you're going to see as he draws up some plans and we start building this bad boy. And uh, I think the person who's going to be most excited about it is, flip the camera around, that young lady right oh. there. Oh. I am. I can't wait. <laughs>